Well, good evening. Thanks for joining us for 41 NBC News at 6. I'm Tucker Sargent. And I'm Shelby Coates. To our top story tonight at 6, a Lawrence County mother and father are dead and their son is in the hospital. The Lawrence County Sheriff's Office is calling it a murder-suicide. 41 NBC's Elizabeth Gutierrez has the tells on what led to this incident. The home behind me here on John Lowry Road is where the incident unfolded. The Lawrence County Sheriff's Office told me Sheena Wiggins was shot and killed by her husband, Sunoco Wiggins, who also shot at his 16-year-old stepson, who is currently at Atrium Health Navison in stable condition. 2.35 a.m. this morning, our deputies responded to 1120 John Lowry Road. The call came out as a suspicious person call. According to the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office, once deputies arrived on scene, they found the 16 year old with multiple gunshot wounds at a neighbor's house. He told law enforcement Wiggins shot him and his mother. What we know preliminarily is that they were going through a divorce. I don't know at what step they were in the divorce, but there was a divorce going on. Chief Deputy Stan Wright says Sunoco set the home on fire. That's where firefighters found the body of Sheena. He says Sunoco then fled the scene and was later found at his home in Trutland County with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. When we approached the house with our SRT vehicle, uh, he come out, he realized, hey, this is over with. So officers didn't have to fire a shot. I spoke with several people off camera who say this is a tragedy and their heart goes out to the family. Sheena worked for Dublin City Schools as a paraprofessional and bus driver. The school district released a statement saying it will offer support to students during this tough time. I just want to remind the public that when they hear somebody for hollering help, do exactly like this couple did. Immediately call 911 because response time is everything when it comes to saving somebody's life. The Lawrence County Sheriff's Office send their thoughts and prayers to the family. In Lawrence County, Elizabeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. And the Sheriff's Office will continue working with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to provide updates on this case.